you can relate this to the first question that we took today good and bad wherever there is concentration there will surely be distraction wherever there is concentration there would surely be distraction but what can you do great people and teachers have taught you to concentrate everybody has told you that concentration is such a big thing they are the people who do not understand the law of duality they do not understand that it is the mind that concentrates and whenever you will try to bring the mind to concentration the mind will run away from it concentration comes from the mind's own tendencies the mind already has a fixed set of tendencies now there is another tendency to make it concentrate obviously you will have a fragmented mind as a kind of an inner war you are trying to concentrate on the book and there is a the television going on there is a deep tendency within you to get entertainment and you have also been trained that the book is important so what is happening a civil war one party fighting against the other nobody can win because both are within the mind your own mind so concentration is surely a type of tension mark these words whenever you will try to concentrate you will feel a little tired have you seen this in concentration you will end up feeling tired because concentration requires so much of effort you are fighting against your own mind its tendencies but in simple attention things happen just happen without any effort there you are not pushing the mind concentrate on the book concentrate on the book what is happening there you have fallen in love with the book it is not concentration it's a love affair now do you understand the difference between these two attention is a love affair concentration is torture being with someone because you love him is one thing and being with someone because you have been forced to be with that person is another thing is that not concentration is when you are being forced to be with the book how do you like it you don't like a man and you are being pushed to be with that man you don't like a book and you are being pushed to read that book because if you don't read it then there is the fear of failure in exams attention is i went into it and then there was just immersion i dissolved into it hmm i dissolved concentration excludes concentration says concentrate on this and forget everything else attention has no object so it cannot exclude attention is just a composed state of mind you must also observe that behind concentration always lie fear and greed you remember that saturday when i said that if there is a cobra here then all of you will immediately concentrate on it because it is dangerous hmm if your lion comes in front of you have you seen how deeply you will concentrate because it is dangerous ego concentrates only on that which it either finds beneficial or dangerous if there is a collage here consisting of a thousand images and in between that there is the image of a seductive girl see how you will concentrate you will forget all the other 1000 images but that seductress your eyes will go and simply penetrate so concentration is so easy provided what you are seeing matches with your mind's tendencies you will concentrate on cobra and lion and you will also concentrate on that girl 
Will you not? And then you will not come and complain, sir, concentration is so difficult. Concentration is difficult. You are not even blinking. <laughs> you are concentrating like mad. Concentration is obvious the work of ego, the conditioned mind. The conditioned mind concentrates and wants to concentrate. If it's matches, if it matches its tendencies, it concentrates easily. If it doesn't match its tendencies, the object of concentration is not as per its tendencies, then there is conflict. But attention is a different quantity altogether. Hmm? 